Drafters, welcome to Red Stick Drafting and Design's first SOLIDWORKS video tutorial. Please bear with me as I am new at making videos and editing videos. I promise quality will pick up with quantity. Today's video will be a real-time random part modeling tutorial where I find random objects around the house or garage and model them in real time. As we know, there are many ways to model a part and everyone's way is the right way. This is just one way I would model this part. I'm not claiming to have the best practices or the correct ways. I have been using SOLIDWORKS for 8 years and if I have learned anything, it is that I don't know everything. Quick disclaimer, I use mainly shortcut keys. I will try and say what keys I'm pushing so it is a little easier to follow along. I will try to edit into the video what keys I'm pushing. Today we will be starting a 2 or 3 part series modeling an AC Delco jack stand that I happen to have in my garage and it looked like it would be fun to model. Let's get started by starting a new part file. Open a new part file and I always like to start by saving my part out. I'm going to go to the desktop and name this AC Delco jack stand. I start most of my files with a center point rectangle, which I have set as Shift R. I'm going to draw on the front plane, starting on the origin. So this is the part that we're actually modeling. We're going to be modeling this little blue guy. And I've already got a material data sheet that I'm working off of. I will make that available to you guys. So I'm going to add in a smart dimension that I have set as the D key. And we know this guy is 1.5 inches wide by 9 inches tall. I also know that we have a through hole cut down here in the bottom. So I'm going to add this guy at a random size, select the midpoint or center point, and add a vertical relation so we know that guy's in the middle. I also know that this is three quarters of an inch from the bottom and it was approximately 0.3 inches in diameter. Hit the F key to zoom to fit and we're going to go ahead and add in our little cutouts. We we'll draw a line in starting on this exterior line. and the little odd shape coming down to the exterior line as well. I measured this guy to be 0.375 and it starts two inches from the bottom. Now we have nine of these guys, so I'm going to make a linear pattern going upwards. I have noticed in uh, 2013 that they did change this linear pattern a little bit. So I'm going to have this guy go in 90 degrees, so it'll be vertical. I know it's a 0.3 inch spacing plus the 0.37 inch height. And as I said, we have nine instances. So if we can go ahead and zoom out, we can see that we made our linear pattern. 